Welcome to Review Journal Sports Betting Spotlight on the Oakland Raiders, part of our 32 for 32 series of NFL team previews. We're here at the fabulous Win Las Vegas Sportsbook. We handicap at Kelly Stewart at Kelly in Vegas and Johnny Avello, the Dean of Las Vegas Sportsbook Directors. The Raiders won 6 and 10 last year. This year, the win total is eight as John Gruden makes his return to the sidelines after a 50-year absence. Kelly, what do you think about you, the Raiders? It always seems first, that way. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you just hit my, my first point. John Gruden, he hasn't coached in 10 years. I get it. He's still been around. He's still been immersed, but he hasn't coached in a long time. A lot has changed in the NFL, so he's going to kind of be my wild card here on whether I think this team can get over eight wins or not. I, I look at this like I love Jordy Nelson. Obviously, I went to K-State. He's a good, good, great receiver. Two injuries back to back. I don't know if he was a good pickup for the Raiders or not. I know I'm going to get some grief for that one on Twitter as well. But Martavius Bryant is going to be on the other side of him, making monster plays. I, I don't know. Suspended it's first. tough. Oh, <laughs> also that. There you go. And then, but Derek Carr's no Big Ben. So here I'm looking at it, going, Oakland opens the season against the Rams, three-point dog Monday night. I'm probably going to be on the home dog, as you guys know. I just don't think I can bet the season win total. I think that at best they win eight games. Like I said, most of the AFC West is eight and eight team. Like they're all eight and eight teams. Here I am going. Ah, I'll stay away from this one. If you had a bet, what would you pick over or under? I have over written down on my paper minus one. 25, but I don't like to lay juice, so here I am going, right. nah, I'll stay but Just for the sake of the video, we'll put over for you. All right. All right. <laughs> Johnny, what do you think? Well, the biggest hype on this team is Gruden, but guess what? Gruden doesn't play. He coaches, so what is he worth on the win total? I'm not sure at this point. They couldn't run the football last year, um, and you know if you can't run the football, the quarterback gets whacked. That's just the way it is in the NFL. Uh, they pick up Doug Martin. And, but him and Marshawn Lynch, they're both shortage backs. That's the problem. Nobody, those guys are three and a half yards. You need a guy that can break out and get you, you know, the, the 20 yard gains. And that's not their game. Uh, receiver wise, you mentioned Jordy Nelson. Jordy Nelson was good with the Packers. Was it him or was it Aaron Rodgers, probably the most accurate passer in football? Because the ball was always right there. Um, Martavius Bryan, you mentioned he had 50 catches with the Steelers. That's pretty good when you got a guy like Brown, you know, catching close to 100 every game. And Bell and out of the backfield, he's another guy that catches 80. So 50 was good there. Nine looks like the ceiling for this team. I think eight's the number. So I'd have to go over thinking that they're going to get at least eight. So if I was forced to bet, I'd take the over. All right, I agree. Gruden, the old school coach, but has some old players and the bright sides on offense where with the question marks, Jordy Nelson and you mentioned Lynch and Martin in the backfield and Martavis Bryant's always uh, ready for his possibility of getting suspended for something. And that's the bright side of the ball. We didn't even mention the defense and that's what concerns me the most. They had one of the worst defenses in the league the last couple of years, and now their Khalil Mack, their best player, has been holding out and reportedly hasn't even spoken to John Gruden since he was hired. And he seems like a pretty good guy, to get, easy guy to get along with. So a little concerned about that one. I think their defense is in for a rough season and not sure what to make of their offense. They're favored in seven games, four of them by a field goal or less. So I'm looking at the under on the Raiders, under eight. Thanks for watching and good luck. That's our spotlight on the Oakland Raiders.